What's going on guys, Jacob Ober here with some Packers news to share with you a few days following the NFC title game loss. Uh, the Packers are officially parting ways with special teams coordinator Sean Menenga. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Uh, but I mean this is I think probably the most obvious offseason move the Packers are going to make and it's no surprise that is the first offseason move the Packers are making. Uh, the Packers special teams this year was dreadful. I would say it was the worst in the league. Uh, Ryan Gosselin, who does uh, yearly special teams rankings for uh, Sports Illustrated, ranked the Packers 29th out of 32 teams in special teams. Uh, the kick return, punt return situations all season was just a revolving door of different guys who were never really that good. You know, Malik Taylor uh, returned kicks at one point. I think he actually was returning kicks for us um, at the end of the season. Then Tavon Austin uh, was returning kicks for us at one point, and you know, I was I thought that he was actually going to be good. He never really actually panned out. I think he had a crucial fumble in one of the games, too. Not exactly sure which game it was. Uh, I know Malik Taylor also fumbled the kickoff return that led to seven points for the other team, too. I don't remember which game that was. I mean, there's just so many blunders on special teams this year. It was just a complete mess. And honestly, I, have, I can't even remember the last time the Packers had good special teams, honestly. Like, it wasn't... It's just been so long, you know, and I'm, we're just so not used to having consistency from that area of uh, the game, really, and that part of the team. So um, hopefully the Packers can find somebody good out there. But uh, adding to the special teams woes, uh, you know, the only really good special teams player on the team is uh, Mason Crosby, at least of, among the bigger names, you know. Uh, J.K. Scott was extremely average this year to below average. His... Uh, uh, net, his average punt yards was, uh, I think, 45 yards a punt, which isn't bad. It was about middle of the pack. But his net yards a punt was 37, and that was 29th in the NFL out of 32 punters. So, uh, I mean, you know, it's just – I really hope we can find some consistency on that side uh, or that part of the game, you know, at some point because it's really just been kind of an area where the Packers have never been good, and I really cannot think of a time where the Packers actually were good at special teams, you know, I mean – I just it, it just doesn't pop into my mind, you know. Of course, losing Tyler Irvin earlier on in the season certainly didn't help that. He was a huge boost to our uh, punt return game um, when he was really uh, productive last season when we signed him at the end. Uh, I just wish that Tavon Austin had panned out the same way that uh, Tyler Irvin did for us last year. Uh, but, you know, that is what it is. And, you know, you can't keep your job in the NFL if your unit isn't producing like it should be in the Packers. Special teams unit simply was not producing this year. So, um, anyways, guys, that's all I really got to say about uh, this at this point. I'm just kind of sharing this news with you. It's the first major Packers offseason news. I expect there to be more news at some point this week, I would think. Uh, I am certainly keeping my eye out for the name Mike Pettin. I would not be surprised if the Packers moved on from him. I also would not be surprised if they kept him. I am hoping the Packers try to get a fresh start on the defensive side of the football, but... We will see what happens on that front. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Pack Go!